Dan's cooking his famous eggs. Four four famous, huh? Yep. Famous eggs. Virgil, she's overseeing Dan making his yeah. famous eggs. I'm watching this induction stove is what I'm Maybe watching. She's overseeing Frugal. <laughs> Overseeing Dan. <laughs> and you're overseeing all of us. Correct. So we should have okay. We're all working so hard. Yes. This is Especially teamwork. Me. teamwork. I'm working so hard. Vicky's thinking about taking a nap. Listen to the goodness. Listen to the goodness. Thank you. Yeah, stick your finger in this pan of hot oil. No, because you've been touching edibles, oh, wild poison edibles, ivy. That's right. poison ivy. Okay, that's not an edible. You don't trust but... me. <laughs> you don't trust me. Hey, I trusted you, and I didn't even know you. Yeah, I'm crazy. Breakfast burrito, and here comes Pete. Texas Pete. next to the sprinkler. It's hot out here. It's, it's lovely in here. Yeah. <laughs> Great idea. Oh, I'm actually getting a little chill. That's crazy. <laughs> the breeze. Join us. So what are you cooking? Snow goose sandwich. <gasps> A Vicky Van Gogh snow goose sandwich. A snow goose sandwich. We want red onion on it. Ooh. Did you grow that? I did this. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Yum. Snow goose sand sandwich. It's like chicken fried snow goose. Chicken fried? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chicken fried snow goose. Can we have chicken fried steak? Like they have chicken yeah. Fried Maybe it's snow goose fried snow goose. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it is. Just a swing in. Now for our annual report here on the ant situation, live from Lola. All right, so this is the ant report for North Texas 2018. So, yeah, they're not attracted to ordinary ant baits, are not controlled by over the counter pesticides, and are hardy, harder to fully exterminate than many other species. Because their colonies have multiple queens. In 2014, that's how new these guys are, it was discovered that the ant produces and covers itself with formic acid as an antidote to the fire ant's venom. It's the first known example of an insect being able to neutralize another insect's venom. Colonies have multiple queens, which contributes to their survival. Well, great. Yeah. 
So, Lost on Land again is telling me this because my camper has been overran by these ants. Number one, the place that they have attacked is Sammy Joe's food. So I have been, I don't want to use any pesticides, so I am using uh, right now some Lysol spray to spray it down and wipe it down and Vicki suggested vinegar so I'm gonna try that next oh no now there's an issue now uh, another news issue. break now there's an issue Lola not to be confused with the longhorn crazy ant or the yellow crazy ant okay well what crazy ant do I have I think these are the raspberries Tell I me have raspberries what color They're brown. this species cannot sting and I like that because they're crawling all over the truck camper nowhere in here does it say how to get rid of them sorry yeah yeah that I feel like it's gonna be a process so right now I've got Sammy Joe's food cover uh, I don't have any kind of ant spray or deterrent so uh, I've got some wasp spray that you know basically drown them oh I'm telling you how I'm telling these ants yeah you know I shouldn't do this. This is a, this is a pack. What is a pack tag? This is a pack tag. Where did you get that? We had a maid. So if you look really closely, it says Lost in Romper on it because Vicki Van Gogh used to go by the name Romper Room. Right? Yeah. You're kidding me. No. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we had those made. On the back, there's a little number that you can, uh, so you can log it. So we can see who's found our path tags and where they've ended up. And you put that in a geocache? Uh -huh. So all the, almost all the state parks sell them for that specific state park. And it'll have like a picture on it and tell you what state park it was. Found a geocache. That's cool. It's like a railroad tie. Uh-huh. Railroad spike, yeah. Cool. RV gal. Is it Thorns in Texas? Some have these little tendrils, anthothorns, and others just have the thorns. These little tendrils are edible. Really? Mm -hmm. Want to try one? No. <laughs> you want me to try one? Yeah.